Station, station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. Crew members spent several days this week tuning up their spacesuits. Commander Butch Wilmore and astronaut Samantha Christopher Reddy worked to swap out a fan pump separator in one of the station's suits. Wilmore and fellow NASA astronaut Terry Virts are scheduled to do three spacewalks starting in late January to continue preparing the station for some major rearranging in the coming year. Expedition 42 is also getting ready for a special holiday delivery. In preparation for SpaceX's fifth Dragon ISS resupply mission, Terry Virts spent some time this week configuring the device astronauts use to command visiting spacecraft. Dragon is scheduled for launch next week. Visit nasa.gov SpaceX for the latest updates and coverage time. So what do Buzz Aldrin's shoe, the Liberty Bell, and sports arenas all have in common? Well, they all supply microbes that are currently growing on board the station. Dubbed Project Mercury, a huge crowdsourced collection of tiny invisible bacteria, viruses, and fungi was flown into space for study. Many microbes grow differently in microgravity, offering new insights that could help researchers develop helpful antibiotics for space travelers and Earthlings alike. This week, the Oscar Report wants to know what would happen if you threw something, like a cricket ball, at Earth from the station. Well, we actually have quite a bit of experience pitching things from the station towards the Earth, and they all pretty much meet the same end. When jettisoning something from ISS, as Russian spacewalkers occasionally do with obsolete parts, it will eventually descend through the Earth's atmosphere. And since the object is moving at an initial speed of over 17,500 miles an hour, it will disintegrate from the heat of re-entry. Make sure to keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.